Yes. I can't. Okay. I, I, it's not like I forgot. I couldn't do anything in game, and I had to reload. Alright, Najim. So, uh, when did you do it? Uh, before going to sleep. Right before. It's a ritual after all. All right. Well, you do the ritual, um, and once again, last time, when the uh, the familiar you didn't lose uh, was uh, lost, yeah. um, uh, you had a feeling, if you care to remember, um, a feeling of, of just this this strange feeling of loss that you did not understand because you didn't remember losing anything, something that went through through the the very laws of reality, reached to your heart. And, uh, and implanted these feelings within you. Well, as you are looking for a familiar, you can't help but to feel it again. Until answering your call, um, something does. But why did I say that like I'm Yoda? I don't know. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> no. This something is something that you look at your hands all of a sudden and it didn't come to you. It was like it was always there. It's a little egg, a little tiny egg. It is entirely red, and it seems to have bumps and little horns. Almost looks somewhat wrong. And around the egg, there is a rope. And tied to the egg by the rope, there is a letter. Uh, I read the letter. Oh wait, sorry. Not a letter. A book. My bad. <laughs> A book. I, read, I read. I open the book and check the content. All right. Uh, as you open the book, it is the demonologist diary that you had lost because. No, she threw it at me before. No, she oh, made, that's she sorry. I, I was. I was incorrect. You're right. You're right. You're right. You didn't lose it, so it is a letter. That's why I thought it was a letter. My bad. I thought you lost it for a minute there. No, no, because she, she, she was on the top, and she said, "I see you on the other side." Tossed at me the book, and then. Correct. Was... Sorry. My bad. The embed. It is a letter. I was gonna put the letter inside of the book, either way. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, you open this letter, and it happens to be in a inferno. Which I know thanks to the book. Yes, the the very spiky looking ace. runes of this to ancient language. Ace. Yep. I think it's the ace that's giving me inferno. Okay. So, um. They were the very, the very uh, violent-looking characters of, of his language, uh, forgotten by most. Um, they almost make the sound of the words as you read them in your head. They're, they're like whispering, like, <laughs> But even though they are this very violent and terrible language, this, this cruel, guttural sounds, the feelings that uh, are written or, or try, try to transmit to you by the, by the words are very warm and caring. But you do not understand from who this is. It reads... My dear master... I had lived on this world with fear from the very moment I first awoke, knowing that something had been taken away from me. A home to where I could always return should something happen to me, so that I could never be truly afraid. But that was no more, and I had to hide and fear for my life at every turn. That is, until I heard your call. Within the ruins of, of the, the castle where we met, I hid in the shadows, and I saw you pleading for a company with your very interesting book in hand. From that moment, adventures we lived, and great things you taught me. You taught me of curiosity, of, of goodness. Terrible, terrible concept. Don't like it very much. But I carried on with it for you. For you were my master. And you provided me with the knowledge that I so desired in my curiosity. And so, within the books, no sorry, within the pages of this book that you lent me, I found out the truth about my people about why I was always so scared and about why this home was taken away from me. It would seem that my kind is prone to evil, that which you fight. And therefore, for us to have infinite chances to carry it out, 
was not something we deserved. We do not, I do not know who or what took it from us. But now I am glad. I may soon get a chance to ex experience what you call sacrifice. And that makes me believe that, it, that everything that I've done with you is worth it. Because whoever took my home away from me and my kind gave me something else. Something I didn't know I could do until I read this book. So, I have done it. And hid this within the book, knowing that you may find it once I'm gone. I give you my child. Take care of it, Master, as you took care of me. And I'll see you on the other side. Is that for me? Yep. So, Wait, sorry, that's not a question by the end. Sorry, was you... she was pregnant. <laughs> sorry, that was that was in character. My bad, Najim. No, no, no. But I, I'm thinking, is that, is that for me? Because I, I cast this spell. That's odd. Never happened before. I checked the, the new phone. Who does? <laughs> yeah, I checked the egg. I, I have it. tears, man. I have tears. Yeah. yeah, me too. But I can't cry in game, you know. I can't because I don't remember. Check the egg. Someone entrusted me with their child somehow. Um, what were the clues? <laughs> Back to the fucking riddle we're doing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I completely yeah. forgot the, them during the Nadim had, had his moment. Yeah, Nadim had his moment. <laughs> you find um, this combination in many different places. You find a something that is that looks like a teardrop, but it's it's not pointy on the top. It's like flat at the top. You do not know what that is. Re 